Did you know that Saudi Arabia's state oil monopoly is worth more than Microsoft or Apple, which are currently valued at about $1.2 trillion? Well, in 2019, the world's leading oil exporting nation, which provides 10% of the world's oil supply, put a $1.7 trillion price tag on its giant state oil monopoly, Saudi Aramco. This corporation is also believed to be the most profitable corporation in the world. Hang tight, because in this video, we'll explain everything about the Saudi government's oil monopoly and tell you how it all started. Introduction In 1938, an American-owned oil well in Saudi Arabia drilled into what would become the world's largest supply of petroleum. The finding altered Saudi Arabia's physical, human, and political geography, as well as that of the Middle East and the rest of the world. Saudi Arabians were mostly nomadic before the discovery. The country's economy was built on tourism earnings from pilgrimages to the holy city of Mecca by observant Muslims. Following the discovery, the Saudis built a strong infrastructure that included wells, pipelines, refineries, and ports. Today, oil provides for nearly 92% of Saudi Arabia's budget. Saudi Arabia is one of the top global oil exporters. Saudi Arabia and the West, China, Japan, and Southeast Asia developed diplomatic relations as a result of the lucrative petroleum trade. Most industrialized countries rely on petroleum imports, and opponents argue that this permits Saudi Arabia to play a significant role in some foreign policy decisions, particularly those involving the Middle East. The discovery of oil also affected the kingdom's demographics. Saudi Arabia now employs millions of foreign workers from the US, India, Ethiopia, Pakistan, and the Middle East. What is Saudi Aramco? Saudi Aramco, previously called Arabian American Oil Company, is a Saudi public petroleum and natural gas company headquartered in Tehran. It's basically one of the world's most profitable companies by 2020. This company has the biggest proven crude oil reserves in the world, with about 270 billion barrels, which is around 43 billion cubic meters. Since 1965, Aramco has been the greatest contributor to the global carbon emissions of any business on the planet. In 2022, Saudi Aramco surpassed Apple Inc. and became the world's largest company by market cap. The master gas system run by Saudi Aramco is actually the world's greatest single hydrocarbon network. It handles about 100 oil and gas fields in Saudi Arabia. It includes 288 trillion standard cubic feet of natural gas reserves. In 2013, its crude oil production totaled 3.4 billion barrels, that's 540 million cubic meters. Saudi Aramco operates the Guar field and the Safania field, which are the world's largest onshore and offshore oil fields. In 2019, the company's shares began trading on the Tadawil Stock Exchange. The shares increased from 35.2 Saudi rials, giving it a market cap of nearly $1.8 trillion. It surpassed the $2 trillion mark on the following day. In 2020, in Forbes Global 2000, Saudi Aramco was listed as the world's fifth largest public business. Saudi Aramco revealed in March 2021 that earnings in 2020 were about 45% lower than in 2019. The global lockdowns following the COVID-19 epidemic has reduced the demand for oil. The History of Saudi Aramco Saudi Aramco was founded in 1933 after Saudi Arabia and the Standard Oil Company of California signed a concession deal. Shortly after the agreement, the business started primary drilling operations and began commercial oil production in 1938. Over the next decade, the corporation rapidly expanded across Saudi Arabia, achieving crude oil production of about 500,000 barrels per day in 1949. To keep up with production, the company expanded its distribution network and built the world's longest pipeline, the Trans-Arabian Pipeline. The Saudi Arabian government bought a 25% interest in the corporation in 1973 and then increased its stake to 100% by the late 1970s. In the 1980s, the Saudi Arabian oil company was created. It formed global alliances and partnership agreements throughout the 1990s. In order to expand into non-metallic and crude-to-chemicals products, the corporation began investing extensively in research and development. Saudi Arabia announced the Gas Initiative in May 2001, proposing the formation of three joint ventures with eight international oil companies for gas exploration on pure upstream acreage. 
By 2004, Aramco was delivering 8.6 million barrels per day out of a total capacity of 10 million barrels per day. In 2005, Aramco announced a five-year plan to invest $50 billion to raise its daily capacity to 12.5 million barrels per day. In 2005, Saudi Aramco was known as the world's largest company with a market value of $781 billion. In 2008, in reaction to crude oil prices topping $130 billion per barrel, Aramco announced that it would expand production to 9.7 million barrels per day. Then, as prices fell, Aramco announced in 2009 that it would cut production to 7.7 .7 million barrels per day. In 2011, Saudi Aramco began production of the Quran gas field, with a daily output of more than 400 million SFC. In 2016, Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, the Deputy Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, announced that he was thinking about listing the state-owned company's shares and selling about 5% of them to build a big sovereign wealth fund. In 2018, the Wall Street Journal stated that Aramco was considering launching a $1 billion venture capital fund to invest in international tech companies. In 2019, Aramco announced that it was going to list 1.5% of its value on the Tadawul Stock Exchange as an IPO, Aramco's initial public offering. Some market experts believe that the company's real value was significantly lower than the Crown Prince's $2 trillion value, causing plans for the company's public debut to stall in the past. Given the suspicions that Bin Salman was a crucial figure in the suspected murder of Jamal Khashoggi, there were also concerns about how investors would react to the IPO. Saudi Aramco raised a record $25.6 billion in its first public offering in 2019, selling 3 billion shares. This was only 1.5% of the company's value, significantly less than companies like Apple, which has 84% of its shares held by the public. Saudi Arabia may keep control of the company by limiting ownership, as the funds from the offering are crucial to the Saudis' desire to diversify the oil giant. The company increased the amount of its IPO to $29.4 billion by selling 45 million more shares using a green shoe or over-allotment option. The corporation was valued at $1.87 trillion in the IPO, which was still less than the Crown Prince's valuation. Saudi Arabia's Involvement in Saudi Aramco Since the company is mainly a state-owned entity, Saudi Arabia's government derives a considerable portion of its wealth. Saudi Aramco, in fact, pays the Saudi and Arabian government a 50% tax rate. Previously, the tax rate was 85%. Because of Saudi Aramco's ties to the government, it received a lower rating than one might expect from a company of its size. Moody has stated Saudi Aramco has an A1 due to its credit links to the Saudi government. This places it below companies such as Chevron and Exxon. Moody's senior credit officer, Rahan Akbar, notes that while there's a track record of Aramco having been operated as an independent company, the Saudi government's budget is substantially reliant on contributions from Aramco in the shape of royalties, dividends, and taxes. Saudi Aramco's Financials Saudi Aramco's financials weren't open to the public because the company was nationalized in the 70s. The oil corporation made its financial data public in a prospectus that was tied to a $10 billion bond sale scheduled for 2019. Fiscal 2020 marked the second year of Saudi Aramco as a public company. Due to the global COVID-19 pandemic, the year was marked by a number of weaknesses. The company's net income for the year was $49 billion, a decrease from the $88 billion it reported in 2019. During the year, demand and the volatility of energy costs had a significant impact on the company's bottom line. A slight improvement was seen in the second half of the year as demand started to pick up. In 2020, Aramco's reserve sat at 255 barrels. This figure included 198 billion barrels of crude oil and 25 billion barrels of natural gas liquids, along with 191 trillion SFC of natural gas. In comparison, by the end of 2020, ExxonMobil reported 15 billion barrels, 60% oil and 40% natural gas. Despite all difficulties, Saudi Aramco continues to outperform its peers. After Saudi Aramco, Apple is the most profitable public company in the world. In 2020, the iPhone maker made $57.4 billion in profits, 
up from $55.2 billion in 2019. A year after going public, the company achieved a major milestone by obtaining a 70% interest in Saudi Basic Industries Corporation. The remaining 30% of the company's shares are held and traded on the Saudi Stock Exchange by public shareholders. The deal was finalized in 2020 and was valued at $69.1 billion. Final words. In short, Aramco has massive oil reserves and huge daily output. It holds a complete monopoly in Saudi Arabia, the largest exporter of crude in the world. This company made a profit of $111 billion in 2018 and has agreed to pay a $75 billion annual dividend through 2024. The Saudi Arabia government's oil monopoly, valued at $1.7 trillion, is now considered the most profitable company in the world, surpassing the big well-known corporations such as Microsoft and Apple. So that's basically it for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed today's content and found it helpful, make sure to go ahead and like, share and subscribe. And please let us know your opinions about today's video in the comment section below. Until next time.